Welcome to another episode of The New Marketing Show. This is a bonus edition where we're going to talk about how effective digital marketing and web development solve business problems. Today, I'm here in my San Diego home office, home studio for The New Marketing Show, and we're going to talk a little bit about web hosting. So, web hosting is one of those things where <clears throat> if you're a WordPress developer or you own a site, you know, et cetera, et cetera, you know, you know that you need a good web host, right? Or actually, you, you almost don't know that you need a good web host. You think that you need a web host, but you don't know that how good a web host you need until things go wrong. You know, I always say that web hosting is one of those businesses where people only really know who their web host is unless if they're a WordPress developer or when their stuff goes down. That's the only time. It's amazing when we ask people that we work with, Hey, who's hosting your site? Da, 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 da. And they say, I don't know. Well, if you don't know, that means that they probably have pretty good uptime and you don't have cause for a lot of technical support issues, which is a good sign of a good web host. So the three things that I look for when I'm evaluating web hosts is I look to see what their support's like. Do they have 24 seven support? I'm a big fan of chat support for, because I can do other things. I can multitask. So I can chat with them on a, online while I'm working on something else. I don't like to wait on hold. I don't really know anybody that does. So do they have 24 seven support? From there, how good is their support? So a lot of times if you deal with some of the other big, 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 like kind of household hosting companies, they do have 24 seven support, but their support's not very good. If at the end, unless it's a real odd case, the sport resolution when I'm talking to a tech should hardly ever be file a ticket, we'll get back to this. Now I understand that that's gonna happen from time to time, but more often than not, I want it to be resolved because I'm only calling you because there's a problem. Uh, we need to fix the problem now. So I look at those two things. The third thing that I look at is their commitment to the WordPress community. A lot of hosting companies say that they're committed to WordPress, but not all of them have the right stuff in place. Uh, they're not all Linux hosts. And they're also not companies that participate with, with the WordPress community. So I really wanna be part of someone that, that is part of the community. I wanna support businesses that, that support our ecosystem. Trinity Web Media chooses to host our stuff with Liquid Web. I absolutely love Liquid Web. Well, Liquid Web is probably one of my favorite companies I've ever worked with. So three things when you're evaluating hosting. One, what are their support hours? How good is their support and their commitment to the WordPress community? Also remember when it comes to web hosting, you do get what you pay for. So don't be surprised if your $3.99 or $4.99 hosted site gets hacked or and the support's not that great. So hey, thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for sending us topics from time to time. If you have a moment, please rate, review, subscribe to this podcast on iTunes. You can get it at trinitywebmedia.com slash iTunes, or you can get it in your favorite podcast app, such as Stitcher, Podbean, iHeartRadio, Spotify. Whatever, wherever you want to listen to it, we're there. So check us out. Thanks again.